In this video we will look step by step on how to buy and sell not only Planet Watch Planets but also PW Forest and PW Credit using Tiny Man. Coming right up! First of all, I think a little bit of general information is needed. So Tinyman is not a traditional exchange, a centralized one, also called a CAX, but a DEX, a decentralized one. Well, centralized exchanges like Binance, Crypto.com, Bitfinex and so forth are companies that handle the transactions of tokens. They act as middlemen for all the transactions. They have order books, support, market makers. But they also are companies and require KYC and need legal approval to operate. That means that it may take some time to open an account at one of these exchanges. And that's why all of them work in some countries while others work in other ones. But in my opinion, the biggest risk is in fact that you have to deposit your funds in their hands. DEXs are decentralized exchanges that rely on smart contracts. They are computer programs running on blockchain and rely on the community to provide the tokens necessary for the transactions. These transactions are called swaps. The main disadvantages are lack of support, no order books and possible higher fees. But the main advantages are there is no need for KYC, it works straight away, it works globally and the whole time your funds do not leave your wallet. So this is a more secure way to trade tokens. Before we can operate on Tinyman, we need the wallet provider. So we will use my algo because in my experience is the most reliable one. But the steps are similar whatever Algorand wallet provider you decide to use. The first step is creating an account. So go to wallet.myalgo.com, link will be in the description below. Here is a very important piece of information. My algo does not use a normal username. It saves the account as a cookie, so make sure to use the same device, the same browser, all the time and to not use an incognito session. That will erase any cookies, so you'll not be able to use that My Algo account once you close the window. Once we are here, click on Access New and accept the Terms of Service. In the next step, we will be able to create a password. Try to choose a secure one, but also make it handy, as you'll have to type it at each action. Once that is done, we are granted access to the app. Here we will have two actions to take, either import a wallet or create a brand new one. If you choose to import one, you will have to give it a name and enter the 25 passphrase words. If you want to create one, be sure to write down those 25 words you will receive or you will lose access to that wallet and everything there is inside it. Either way, make sure to have your assets enabled. In this case, Planets, PW Forest or PW Credit. To do that in MyAlgo, just click on Add Asset button. Search for the asset that you want and choose the one you need. In case of Planets, you need to find the one with the check mark next to it. The other ones, PW Credit and PW Forest, are not yet registered, so they will not have a check mark next to it. And you will also need to have at least 0.2 algos in the wallet to activate the asset. If you do not have any at the moment, do it later when you have algos in the wallet. Great! Now let's advance to the second step, using the Tinyman DEX. So we need to go to app.tinyman.org, link will be in the description below. Here we need to connect to our wallet and we will choose MyAlgo as the provider. With the information we learn about how MyAlgo account works, we now know that we need to use Tinyman on the same browser that we used to set up our MyAlgo account previously. Otherwise, it will not find the account and that password will not work. So here we will input our password and then we will need to opt in to use Tinyman on that wallet. So be sure to have at least three algos in that wallet just for the authorizations and transactions. In a few moments, we will see our assets in that wallet in the top right corner. Before we move further, we need to make sure that we have enough tokens in our account to make a trade. Here we have probably two options. The first one, if available in your country, is to click on add funds via MoonPay button. If this is available in your country, you will be able to buy algos with your credit card. And from algos, you can go into any other token in the Algorand blockchain 
including USDT and USDC stablecoins. If not, or you already have funds that you wish to use, we have the second option. Transfer the tokens from an exchange to our Algo wallet. I will show you how to do it using Binance, but the process will be similar for other exchanges. If you want to use Binance and also support me, you can register using the link in the description of the video. If you already know how to buy and move Algos into your Algorand wallet, you can skip to the next section. The timestamp will be on the screen. So once logged in in Binance, we will go to buy crypto and select credit debit card. Here, choose Algorand if your exchange allows it. Mine doesn't, so we can go with another crypto that has low fees, like LTC, eGold, XRP. I will go with eGold. Once we buy the crypto, the second part is to change it to USDT in order to use that stablecoin in order to acquire Algorands. So I will go to Trade Classic. Here we will search and select for eGold USDT pair in the right column. I will choose market as this is the fastest way, but limit is always safer. I will select the 100% amount and click on sell eGold in order to get USDT. After we manage to do that, we will use that USDT to buy Algorands. So we need to search for the Algo USDT pair and now we will put the 100% amount and click on buy Algo. Great, now we need to move the Algos to our wallet. To do that, we will go into my algo and we will click on the copy button next to our address. And going back to Binance, we will click on wallet, fight and spot and here we will click on withdraw next to the algo. We will paste our wallet's address and make sure that the network is algorand. Select the amount to withdraw. We usually have a max button and click on withdraw. Once we complete the verification, we will see our algos in the wallet. It may take up to 30 minutes for the transfer to be made. Going back to Tinyman, as you can see, the interface for swapping is plain and simple. I will use an example of buying planets with algos. We need to first select what we want to sell from our wallet. So algo is what we want in my case. We will leave it as it is and then in the to section, we will look for what we want to buy. So in this example, planets with a check mark next to it. When trading algos, do not go for the maximum amount, as we will need at least 3 algos in the wallet for the tiny man to work properly. So manually put the amount to make sure that you will leave at least 3 algos in there. As you probably guessed, the act of selling planets, PW Forest or PW Credit, is mostly the reverse of buying them. So you input in the front card the asset you want to sell. So planets, PW Forest, PW Credit. And in the two card, what you want to get for it. Now here are some tips. Some pools have more liquidity than others. So you might get a better deal to sell for example PW Forest for planets and then planets for USDT than to sell PW Forest directly to USDT. Another tip is that if you want to maintain the value then sure swapping tokens into USDT or USDC is what you want to do because they are stable coins. But if you want to move to Fiat, you have a much better option to swap the tokens into algorithms and transfer the algos into the exchange you want. And why is that? Because very few exchanges support transferring USDT on Algorand. And since all the tokens in Tinyman are on Algorand, if you try to move your USDT in the Algorand blockchain into an exchange on the Ethereum blockchain for example or any other blockchain than Algorand, you will lose those tokens. But Algorand can be transferred only on the Algorand blockchain, so it's safe and a lot of exchanges support it. Going back to swap, let's look at the details of it. First, the price one. This is the exchange rate. Below that, we get the most important panel. But first, let's see how this operates. Because crypto is volatile, there is a certain price shift from the moment we input what we want to swap and read the details and the moment the swap is actually executed. In order to have some control over this, Tinyman operates with what is called a slippage tolerance. That means that as long as the price shift 
is not worth the dead value, in this case 0.5%, the swap will be executed. We will always get the minimum received because that will be the worst case scenario where the swap will be executed. And here we have two possible scenarios. The price change got worse than the amount set as slippage tolerance before the swap tried to execute, so it will fail. Scenario number two is that the swap executed at the slippage tolerance or at a better exchange. So you get the minimum amount and if there is any surplus, it will be stored in the excess area where you can redeem it anytime. You can let the excess amount accumulate over multiple swaps or redeem after each swap if you wish. How about fees? Well, we have a standard 0.3% fee for each swap. The exchange rate is tied to the amount we want to swap, so swapping 10 algos will have a better exchange rate than swapping 10,000 algos. And as the value goes higher, the exchange rate will deteriorate. So how can we address this? Well, you can broke that large amount into smaller swaps and wait, let's say, half an hour between them in order for the liquidity pool to have more liquidity in it. This will help you get a better exchange rate. Going back to the swap, when we click on swap, we get a confirmation page. And once we click on confirm swap and authorize it on my algo, it is done. If the swap was executed, we see the confirmation page and the amount that we have to redeem. That's it. And as I said, the swap takes place in our wallet, so no need to move our tokens around as they are already in our wallet. If you want to sell and withdraw your funds into your bank account, this is how you do it. The first step is to swap your Planet's PW4, PW Credit tokens for Algos. Once again, we will use Algorand as the desired token. You can go back to the section where I explain why we use Algos instead of USDT or USDC. Once we put our amount of tokens, we will see how many algos we will receive after completing the swap. The next step will be to send the algos to an exchange. I'll use Binance, but these steps will be very similar no matter what exchange you will use. So on our exchange, we need to get the address to deposit our algos. To do that in Binance, we will go to Wallet Spot. Here we will search for Algorand and click on Deposit. That will get us the address to where we will deposit our funds. With this address copied, we will go to MyAlgo and click on Send. In this pop-up, we will put the amount we want to send to exchange and paste the address. After some time, we will see the transferred algos in our Binance account. We will go to Trade Classic and we will search for Algo USDT pair. We will sell the maximum amount. For speed, I will use market, but it's always safer to use limit. Once we get USDT, we will do the last trade. USDT to dollars or euros, depending on what currency we want to withdraw in. We will do the trade in the same way. And now for the final step. We will go to wallet spot. Here we have a dedicated FIAT section, where we see our funds. We will click on withdraw and choose our method, either card or bank transfer. The best way which will be SEPA, the bank wire transfer, but that not might be available. That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. Until next time, see ya!